All right, guys, so what you're looking at here on my workbench are two different water pumps for my 1983 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ60. Now, one here, it was purchased at Napa, and this was $66, and this is $120 um, at the Valley Hybrids. And the big difference here is, one, this is an ASIN brand, so we all know and are and trust ASIN, and this is a Napa, but this was also, looks like it's made in Japan according to this stamp um, this casting stamp. I'm not really sure if this is equal quality. Only time will tell. But the reason why I have two on my workbench is because um, I thought I was I was gonna have a hard time finding this ASIN water pump here locally. But I ended up going down to Stockton anyways to pick up some other parts. Um, so I ended up just picking one up and I'm gonna take this one back to Napa. Now, uh, let's take a quick look at the difference here. One, the finish is different, which doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe it does, but this looks like it's, um, they kept, they didn't do a whole lot of polishing after casting. They kind of left it uh, raw, looks like, um, and they just painted a nice silver color. And this one here by Napa, it looks like it's a little bit more polished after the casting process. Um, and two, I noticed that these little, um, the, wa the water that flows through here, what do you call this? The main line that comes through the water pump, this is a one-piece cast. Whereas this is a two piece and this is actually glued on there. So I'm sure it's going to last probably just as long. I'm not really sure, but you know, um, but these do have lifetime warranty and this does not have lifetime warranty, best to my knowledge. The second thing that's kind of obvious here is if you turn the actual pump itself, uh, the ASIN pump, this one here turns pretty freely. Uh, there's some resistance, but if you look at this Napa brand, it's got 50 to 80 percent more resistance so that's interesting so i'm not sure if that makes it any better or if it makes it worse um, the price difference here is well this is about 70 bucks and napa with tax and this is 120. okay now where i see the um well before we get to that let's look at the back side of this pump so it Pretty standard, it all looks the same. Um, all the bolt patterns match, so that's good. So if you're looking for a cheaper option, you know, Napa is definitely where to go. The other thing that's kind of um, odd here is on the Napa brand here, if you look at this tube, looks, this looks like a one, one casting process. Whereas this one here, this is seam down the middle here, and you can see the the, um, the seam here on top and the seam on the bottom and then they just polish it up and smooth it out. So I'm not sure if this whole thing was casted maybe in two pieces. Um, I don't know. Whereas this looks like it's all one piece. Okay. So I'm not sure if that makes any kind of performance difference. Probably not. But I think where you're going to see the biggest difference here that I noticed here is actually if you can see in the camera. So again, this is the ASIN, one on my right, and if you look at, let me try to focus in there. Let me uh, zoom in there and focus. Come on. So if you look at the, what do you call it, like the turbine, uh, the, the, the fan, if you will, that, that right there, the thickness on here is d double. The ASIN is double the thickness of this Napa, Napa brand. You can see how thin that blade is. And look how thick this blade is. Way thicker. So I'm not sure if that improves performance, but makes you wonder why one's thicker than the other. So um, maybe that's why these ASIN brands are, you know, they have a better quality um, in the industry because of these parts a little bit beefier, maybe? I have no idea. So anyways, I just want to share that um, little bit of tidbit of information with you guys. Um, oh yeah, b by the way, so it looks like these um, have the gaskets or already in. Let me get a better picture for you guys. So both of these, the gaskets are, are already, um, already bolted to the back plate of this water pump. Okay, and then... And behind here, these are literally half, well, half, what do you call it, washers, uh, or not washers, half the gaskets. And they go about right here, okay? But what George recommended that I do is take these th three bolts off 
and then put a little bit of um, you know gasket maker on both sides of the gasket and then bolt it back in um, and then maybe replace it with this gasket I'm not really sure if I need to do that but once I take it apart I'll, I'll let you guys know what I'm going to do and of course both of these uh, water pumps both these water pumps do come with you know four new studs so that should be replaced at the time you replace the water pump so um, anyways I thought I'd share that with you guys and if you guys have any questions please leave me those comments down below and I'll get back to you thanks <music>